glorious New South Wales of the university's home ground. Sensational spot they have a grand final. As we run through the teams, the Catholic College's is fullback, Fergus Doyle. Wingers are Dean Fitzgerald and John Wel um, Michelle Dupre. The centres are Paul Gill and John Welsh. 5'8", Kel Overton. Halfback, Craig Anderson. The forwards go at this. Peter Brown, Peter McCallum, John Douglas, Jeff Cowling, Daniel Anderson. as hooker and a new role for him and Pat Proy are the final prop. So as we move over to the University of New South Wales, and we move that one, <laughs> the fullback is Andrew Whitten, and the wingers are Scott Wood. It's in the shade. <laughs> Scott Solder <laughs> and John, John Milner. The centres are Stokes and Bush. The, fight, the halves are Waters and Walsh. And the forwards go like this. Dill, Hurt. Oh, a huge name there. You'll never get that pronunciation. Either the next one, but we'll go for Kearney, Keating and Kelly. And the reserves are Armstrong, Boogies, <laughs> Biggies it is. Brownie, Hayne and Lynch. And the coach is Paul Walsh. There's been one I'd say uh, New South Wales must have won the toss and let that go with a win, Michael. Well, that's a good choice because there's a real gale blowing up here today and it may not be here in the second half. Although I remember last year's grand final and it was hailing by the first grade. So Zoomy anything what? Could happen. Anything could happen with the, with the uh, weather conditions today. You're not wrong, mate. There is a high wind. We're up high in this grandstand. I'll tell you what, we might be on the bottom of the grandstand real soon if this wind keeps up because it's a huge win. Oh, there's a lot of people. There's a bit of a scary hurry. We could be in trouble. But, uh, tell you what, apparently there's still a 1,000 people locked outside. They can't fit in, mate. Yeah. I heard the crowd. Piling in. This is huge. That's right. I heard at Lang Park last week they turned away 3,000. I think today we'll be turning away more than three. Oh, mate, yeah, it'll be at least four people. Four people, OK. Kill over to, to uh, take their kick to start play for this 1989 second grade university tertiary tertiary colleges. Tertiary, tertiary uh, colleges. And here we go. The referee blows whistle for the time on. Kill over and puts it deep. This is real strong wind holding there. That'll be number 12, Macrio Hatatas. Hurtis. Hurtis. He'll be hurt all right, mate, later on in the game if college keep that defence up. Oh, nice going run there by the hooker, big Jason Cooting. Well, his father pulled it eight no, down. No, rel no relation. No relation, OK. Duggo now with a great defence and a swing on there by Anderson. But he get off, this could be a penalty. We'd like to get the penalties off early, but he's let it go. It'll be a kick now. They'll use the kick. That's a low trajectory one. Ferg Dial, the man with a job today in the first half, probably one of the hardest jobs on the field today, full back with his big win. Well, that's right, Paul, but if they keep kicking like that, he hasn't got a very hard job because this wind's going to take all those sort of kicks dead on this hard ground. That's correct. Well, today will be interesting to see who'll take the kicks because last in encounter with these two teams, uh, the tries, I think, were about 4-2 to, four to two or 5-3 five to, five to three or something like that, but uh, college let it run away because of no kicking skills. Well, it's got to be cowling for mine. He's got the experience. It's got to be cowling. It's either him or Dupre. And I think I'll have me running. There's Cowling now with the ball. A good solo run. He's got him for offside. This is what we'll see early in the grand final. A lot of penalties come early in the game. I mean, if, for instance, just here, we're, we're 58 yards out, about 10 yards in. If we had the win with us, Cowling could get the goal from there. Mate, oh, well, yes, we'll, we'll look for that in the second half. Hopefully, if this win keeps up, OK, Anderson with a... What's he made there? I'd say he's made about a nice 40 yards. Anderson now with the ball to take the tap. 40 yards. 40 yards. We'll take a Pat Prea now with the ball. He, he likes to go with himself. No runners. Looking for Kelling. Well, he shuffles out now wide. Kill over to the 5 8. Well, there was a huge gap there. Now Anderson with the ball. Gives it to Prea. He's got a nice little step and a jink, but he's going nowhere. Been brought down. Anderson now. Anderson now with the ball. Duggo now. Pat Prea wanting the ball. He's going to take it up solid. Not looking for a runner this time. He makes the quarter. Good solo forward run. This is what we need to break the cowling now to Anderson. What's going to happen? He'll turn inside. Anderson, there's a gap there. Nobody to support, though. Well, good thing. He's got the last here. They've gone the wrong way. Pre now with a ball. Long ball. Not needed a chip. I think they've gone the wrong way there, Mick. Well, yeah, that was unfortunate, but there's plenty of time yet. I think that's signs of things to come. College to win. For my mind, college too, mate. Now cowling, Anderson and D Brown make the tackle. There, you could throw a blanket over New South Wales at the moment. They're full, but back Witten takes the ball up because there's no forwards electing to run. There's Keating with the ball. You can throw a blanket over him, mate. I think I just said that, but it doesn't matter. We'll get away. And <laughs> this little halfback had a falling game in the last one. Danny Walsh, he's a man to watch in the uh, New South Wales side. Well, here we go. 
Penalty after penalty. Well, he's just going to even it up, well, I think, in the early stages. We've seen this before, haven't we? The standard offside penalty. Give it 10 more minutes. He won't be giving them any more, mate. He won't even want to know about this game, this referee. It'll be that at far advanced, and he'll be so far out of condition. Well, a huge kick there. Well, what's this poor boy doing? Oh, two I think we get on the field. Time off. Oh, God, there could be an injury here. There's two balls. Oh, just, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Well, that boy boy will have to be sacked. We'll have to go down and... Ah, mate, it's... It could have been dangerous. I mean, you could have a you could loss of limb there. Two balls on the field. It's very dangerous. It is. There's a lot of two balls out there, but doesn't matter. They've been brought down solely by Kelly and Duggo. And find the game in defence is Duggo. There he goes again. Oh, that's oh, big well, hit. Huge. We'll call that one a huge one. Well, they're deep now. They're looking for the ball. Those are the still spinning it out wide. They got forwards out there wide. That's uh, oh, the hurt us. Just the elephant man, anyhow. Well, there's a knock on, but brought up beautifully there, there by, by um, Welshy, mate. Welshy, mate. Don't Welsh with me. Okay, Anderson with the ball. No runners. Prior takes it on the blind, looking for runners this time. He takes it. He's short about five yards from the halfway line. Anderson with the ball. Overton. Now to Brown. He gives it to Dago, the second runner. He can't make anything. He's just held well. He's throwing a silly ball, but it could be Welsh now with the ball. Now here comes the fullback. Doyle. Doyle still going. Over the halfway line. Ten metres over the halfway line. Well done there by Doyle. He got a deep line here. What can they do with the ball? Enison now. Goes to Enison. To McCullough. Well, I don't know for mine. That was that was clean. Well, that was clean to me. I mean, if, if anything, it was just a straight lateral pass. No forward motion in that pass. That's bad ruling. I think the referee just couldn't keep up with the game, then decided he was going to call quits and put in a scrum. Well, that's right, mate. He was at least two yards behind the play there. That's not on. Well, there's a good push, and it's one against the head. to kill over an hour with the ball. He'll just have to take it and settle it. Forward's not breaking quick enough. OK, Welshie with the ball now. Didn't play that ball straight. Prio now. Brown needing him to do a lot of running. Sensational uh, burster. Could be the game breaker. Well, I'm expecting a big game from Brown, as I am from Cowling. They're going to make the hard yards up the middle and then spin it out to these very spacey wingers. I mean, with the ball now, he's the man, I think, can control the game, settle him down, maybe get his own runners, and then he'll offload the balls when he has to. I think he could be the man of the match uh, later on when this game progresses, maybe because we want college to win it and they will win. Well, Prior now, knocking the ball back. OK, it was a huge set, but Cowling, yeah, he's, he's always there, the reliable Cowling, isn't he? He is. He'll jump on loose balls. He'll do anything. He'll buy you a drink down the bar, mate. He's like that. Well, Gillen with the ball. Well, he didn't really have the ball. Hospital pass here by Anderson. We'll look at that in the video later on. Well, that was the last tackle, so he's going to play it. It'll be the halfback, yeah, Welsh. Walsh. we got Walsh and Walsh. OK, that's the log deal. He's a bit of a deal, this deal, mate. We've got a oh, Welsh and Welsh. Well, he is a bit of a deal, but oh, he'll be there. huge run there by number 10, Bill Kearney. Well, now it's the halfback. Well, he throws the ball. He's going to be forward. There's number 12, Hurtis. Well brought down there by that solid defence of College. Well, they want to get on side. Well, they all are now. He goes to the halfback. Walsh. He spins it out wide of their centre. Stokes. Well, it's been brought down beautifully there by Kill Overton. No, no, it wasn't. It was Welshy, mate. Pat Prio now with the ball. There's Kill Overton. Well, Kill Overton's already done three or four good hard tackles, and that's going to break up this back line today. Well, Airhead and Dupre really set themselves well there. Zoli, well, great take there. Well, he's a man. He's Irish, but he still likes this game. Well, he could have gone a bit too far. There's Yari with a tackle. Was it Yari? It is? No. Well, we don't know. Not Yari, that's not Yari, but I've said it before. And oh, that's a bit high, mate. We missed that one. It was a bit high. Ferg Doyle, safest man in rugby league. Could be, mate. He's the man we want to see, Brown. Well, he's making no yards. I think he's had uh, oh, excessive... Well, I don't know. Well, what was that decision? Well, ooh, ooh, I don't know what that was, but uh, he's going to put down a scrum. That's a safe option. When the referee doesn't know what's going on, put down a scrum. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's true. You know, I put down a scrum just 10 metres on there. Halfway line, well, second row free. Good push there by College. Play the ball, he's let that go. There's a second row on the ball. Well, it doesn't matter. He couldn't see. Dug out now with the ball. He's got to run it hard. He's throwing wild balls on the first tackle. Silly, son. Well, she will clean up there. He'll take hold on to the ball. Anderson now wants screams for it. He gets it going nowhere. Too slow to play the ball, son. Craig Anderson now. 
Tummy half. He gets it to Priya. Keeling on a burst. He'll just take it over the halfway line. Craig Anderson again at halfback. No one running. They'll switch to the blind with Cole Overton. It goes to Dago. Dago looking for Patch. He's made a huge... Well, he's breakthrough two. Good good run there by Dago. That'll be the last. He has to get him on side. Well, oh. I don't think he's heard the call. Well, the ball did go forward, but they're going to put that out in the full anyhow, so it don't really matter. Good decision there by the blue flagman. Well, good decision by the blue flagman. That was an ugly piece of football. It was a bad pass, in fact. I think that one did go forward. Of course, the referee missed it. And then uh, not the greatest general play kick, but uh, we'll bring it back for a uh, play of the ball 58 yards out. Well, there's a bit of indecision early in uh, New South Wales' game. No runners. They really are standing around a bit. Not set early in the game. They need to get set earlier. You can't have halfbacks running as decoys either. Well, he's got just slammed now, see like that. Over and again. Brilliant tackle. Okay, we've got Jason Keating now with the ball. There's Yari. Good run, son. Good run. But well met there by Prow McCallum. Keating here. Oh, running out of names. I think you're gonna have to cover the names. Good ball. A lot of good balls out there. They haven't made too many yards, though. They really have only made about five. Well, he's lost the ball. The ref hasn't seen it. He says, knock back. Well, here's a kick now. Behind, back to the prey. Well, did he touch it? Well, Dupre had no chance here, mate. Well, no, that was an unfair laugh. I heard uh, Dupre's, both of his brothers laughing at him there, but I think that's pretty unfair because that was a pretty hard ball to handle. <laughs> it sure was. Well, whose feet is it? We were still waiting. Well, it is going to be cast a little. It's really slow to form this scrum. Pereira just walking back. We'll have to check on his fitness at half time. He may be injured. Well, the ball's just been turned around. A lot of... Oh, geez, I don't know. That's bad. Bad work by the forwards. Oh, well, I tell you what. This is this is going to be a telling time for college. If they can hold him out here, that'd be good because they could be in trouble. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that <laughs> well, it has to. <laughs> Well, that's a great... Oh, he's still breaking through. He tells him to play the ball now. He's danger. They're real deep. This is good. If they can work it out. Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, I don't think they practiced that too well at training because it hasn't come off here. They were deep. They needed a spin and a fullback cut in too early. He didn't even look for that ball. Now they go wide. Well, he's got nothing there. They still really aren't regripping really well enough, I don't think, New South Wales. He's the halfback. He's a man to watch. He does go for a grubber. They all let it go. Well done. Good decision there. Well, well left by College. New South Wales haven't, still haven't uh, got the strength of this wind down, Pat. They're kicking those balls too hard. Well, they are. Good decision there. Pat Pereira just telling Airhead to leave the ball. He, they need to get the breath. It's, this game has started at a rapid pace. A good first 10 minutes. Oh, well, it's a blockbusting game. If they can keep this up for the full 70 minutes, is it? Well, I tell you what, they'll be very tired, boys, by the end of the game. <laughs> tired? Tired is hotter than in it, mate. They'll be devastated. Cowling now with the ball. He loves it, doesn't he? He loves to get in there and just have a bit of a... Set up the centre and he doesn't mind a bit of physical contact with oh. members of the same sex. <laughs> the same sex? Well, I don't know. You told him he went low before. He only goes for lowies too. OK, Anderson with the ball. Prayer. He'll turn to Anderson. Huge break there. Anderson now with the ball. Gets away there. Oh. Well, he hasn't got the pace to go on with it. No, he's there. Fitzgerald, he's not there. The pass is too bad. Well... Good play, good breakage of play there. You can see Anderson, he just knew where the gap was. Prio just turned inside. They're going to lay off Prio. You can't do that because if it is, he's going to make breaks like that with Blake's inside. Well, beautiful play by the Anderson uh, twins there. And uh, if that pass had been a little bit better, it was a tough situation uh, for mine. Dino was in down the line. Mate, once he gets a ball, he's just too quick. I think he would have outrun one of their players. Well, there's a second row feet, but he lets it play on. doesn't matter. There's their back. They're using their full back to come in. That's Witten. I don't think he really came in quick enough. There's their 5'8 uh, Waters now. He goes to their centre, Stokes. Making a good yardage. They need to spin wide there, Castle Hill. They caught centres. Well, that uh, New South Wales fullback, he's got red hair, and I don't think that's good for the game, Paul. Well, I hope there's no redheads sitting around here because <laughs> we're going to be in big trouble. We can't fight. So, anyhow, now New South Wales are the ball. St still no runners. They need forwards to run. I don't think their forwards are taking it to our forwards. So, that could be the downfall maybe later in the game, maybe in the last 10 minutes of this half. We'll see what happens. So, there, there's the hooker. Now he's doing the runs. Well, they've lost the ball. What's he got? He'll play a scrum. We need to win this ball. Well, that's true, Paul. And, you know, grand finals are won in the forwards. I mean, you can have your little premiership games. They're one in the backs, but grand finals are one up the middle, mate, where it's tough. And we like it right up the middle. boys are tough. <laughs> Having it with the ball. He's not tough. He didn't want it. I think he's a bit of a girl myself. 
Okay, Anderson now. Doyle to take it up for one of the forwards. He's, that's that's a good decision. You, know, you get a fullback once and occasionally take that pressure off the forwards. Okay, Anderson with the ball. Take the pressure off, get mashed, but still, you're giving the forwards a bit of a rest. He regretted on Sunday, but who cares? Brown now with the ball. Haven't seen enough of him. There he goes! Brown now right through the middle now with Anderson. Well, he's got the fullback to beat Prio. Under the post. Great try by Castle Hill. Sensational play there, Mick. Well, beautiful play. I thought that uh, pass from Brown might have floated forward, but who am I to say? Who am I to say? say well, that was a beautiful try. Beautiful try by the forwards. Brown, what a run. Unstoppable from well, that far out, 40 yards. As I said before, I said we needed, we haven't seen enough of him. Just as I say, it, he makes a break. Sensational play. Well, that's right. I mean, he's only got to do something like that once in a game, and he's earned his, earn his pay, which is, which is well, nothing. Twice would be lovely. <laughs> twice would be real good, actually. But anyhow. I tell you what, there he is. First man to the water was uh, Paul Gillen, and he's having a big one out there. <laughs> well, he hasn't done anything, but I heard he really likes the H2O, so he just said to me he might give that a bit of a nudge every time he can get a chair, because I think he was off the piss last night, so just stick to the H2O. Well, so it's Kel Overton's been given the kicking. Well, I think that's yeah. a bad... Well, maybe Kel that's Overton's been given the short ones, and Jeff Callan's going to take those long <laughs> ones. Jeff Cowan has got that big, better range with his kicks. Still, afraid talked to me just before the game. He said, "Well, he was in for a big kicking game. He's probably take the ones midfield, halfway line. You know, if they need him in the second half. But I think the only thing will be kicked with Mish will be his head. So uh, I think we'll kick, we'll kick Mish's head in if he makes any goobs out there today. Yes, well, Dupre uh, developed uh, his kicking game, of course, uh, in his uh, season over with uh, the Belgian uh, Congo team." Oh, jeez. Well, <laughs> fair in Ooh, twice, wasn't mate. good, was it? Well, mate, as I said before, this happened to us last time. We scored early, and we just didn't have the kickers. I think Ferg Doyle was our big choice. So he, he made a few mistakes in the last game, but you don't have games like that every week, mate. So I think they've got to go back, back to Ferg Doyle with his huge boot. Well, actually, now that you mention it, I, I forgot that Ferg Doyle was in the team when I was talking about Jeff Cowling, and well, you're right. Well, you were talking about earlier how unreal this Ferg Doyle was, and now you don't know he's in the game. What are you, mate? Well, he's only a fullback. Come on, he's, he's not a forward. And grand finals are one up the forwards. I've said that before, and I'll probably say it again because it's 70 minutes to go. Yes, and we're running out of things to say. Douglas now with the ball. He doesn't like taking it off, off, off the uh, well, off the kickoff, mate. You, you don't mind taking the microphone off me, do you? <laughs> oh yeah, well, I did. Come over now. No, it's the prey. Well, he's been made <laughs> huge. Well, thanks for coming, the prey. It's a long trip from Belgium to cop that sort of treatment. Anderson, one of the players that set up the great try. Craig Anderson now with the ball. Kel Overton. He's got nothing there, so he's just going to have to take it himself, and he'll be brought down, what, three or two yards from the halfway line. Craig Anderson doing a lot of dummy half play. He's Daniel Anderson. Well, he's cheap. And it's gone a bit. They don't want the ball. Was that one of the calls, or was that your call? That's my call, but I, I heard it from someone. Someone well, else said it. They don't want the ball. They don't want the ball. We'll hear all classic statements come out in grand final time, and that'll be one of them later on. Airhead now with his second tackle in a row. Huge Peter McCallum. Patch, I don't know whether you can see Paul Gillen. He's really lagging out the wing. He doesn't, like, he doesn't even like getting in position on the right side of the field. He's got to stay there too. Well, he's so lazy he won't even pull up his left sock. Hang on, he might have to do a tackle here. He's coming, he's moving in for the tackle. Oh, well. Huge, mate. When he gets a tackle, he's him, there he when you need him. That'll be the only thing he'll do all game. He's there when you need him, mate. You've got to say that for Flash. And he's going to do two. two. He's, made a, he's done well, two he and the crowd. A full the crowd's urging him on. They're calling for three will tackles. Get, will he get for three? Yes, he will. There's a kick. Oh, hey, did you see Cowling there, mate? Did you see Cowling? Cowling almost yeah, got really that ball. Cowling, they're way offside. Well, it's a battle of the short man out in that wing, isn't it? <laughs> no, I think, I think the prey is one by half an inch. <laughs> yeah, but, mate, if they chopped that skin off, he wouldn't win. It'd be a draw. <laughs> well, I tell you what, yeah, uh, New South Wales slow to regroup. There could be a chance here. Let's hope so. There's a huge gap out here. Their backs haven't formed. Well, Craig Innocent oh, gets a bit excited. Bit excited and Welshy now with the ball. That was a time to, to really get get your things together. Brown now, Anderson, he'll have to kick. That's good work. They, that's sensational. That's that's terrific. That's really good play. Castle needed it. They weren't grouped. So that was great. We'll see Kelling at his best now as the blindside prop. Great. Well, I just like to mention about the armbands. Um, later early in the week, as you know, the, the uh, director of the referee. His name is slips from mind at the moment, but I think college are only doing it for Senna. Just trying to hope that uh, 
Back to the game, mate. I don't know yeah. we have to... Uh... Gibberish, that was Steve Fitzgerald talk. OK. They still haven't regrouped. There's their yeah. halfback. Well, he's chopped the ball in there. See, he's... I don't know. It doesn't seem to be much of him, but he really makes well, yards early. most penetrating runner so, so far, which doesn't say much for their forward pack, does it? That's right. Well, I don't know. The referee's made a decision. Duggo's going to argue. You can't argue with the referee, son. <sighs> Captain Coach Craig Anderson just going up to Duggo and saying a few words to get back, son. I tell you what, I think Duggo would look better out on a soccer field. Look at the curly locks on him. I think he'd do with a bit of a haircut, couldn't he? Well, under all that curly locks, he does have a headband, which is unusual. <laughs> he has a shitty knee band, and I don't know what that is, Strap. I think... What is that on his left knee? That's I think that's holding his penis to his thigh, mate, because he, I've heard he is huge. <laughs> I heard, well, I actually seen him in the shower once. Well, <laughs> I honestly got out, the, got out the rate, mate, to kill the python. Well, he's, if you'll have a look at his right knee, his uh, right knee guard is now a shin guard by the looks of things. It's a bit low, isn't it? You're not wrong, but there's Keely making another huge hit. Duggo slowly to regrip too. Look, get up, Duggo. What a name, Duggo. Here he is. Keely, never stoppable. I'll tell you what, the halfback, what's his name? Danny Walsh. Danny Walsh, he's the danger man for mine. I've already spotted him. That's right, mate. Well, they spin it back. Here's a fullback coming back inside. He's still standing. He's trouble now for Castle Hill. They've got a kick or two just quietly. Well, no. Well done by Castle Hill. Last tackle. Let's see if they can do anything good with the kick this time. They spin it back to the five. Oh, it's to the hooker. Oh, boy. Their kicking game isn't getting any better, Paul. <laughs> well, he's got to have a penalty. Unusual, because I think the Castle Hill Blake thought he was offside. But they were. That's a good decision now, I think, of it because they kicked, they got the ball, here, but they were all offside. Good decision by the referee. Oh, yeah. Give credit where credit's due, Paul. That was a good decision. OK. That'll be the only time we'll give him credit because he'll get a big hit otherwise. So, anyhow, here we go now. It's on the start of the quarter line. The prey with the ball. Is he going to take the tap? No. Good Anderson. decision, good, good decision, decision to take the ball off the prey there. Yeah, Anderson. Now, here's Brown. They mean I made a break. He's just through one. Brought down by the second Prio now, dummy half. Craig Anderson. Gives it to Jeff Cowling. Ever present Jeff Cowling. Oh, for my mind. Me and the match already. Oh, well, hey. I couldn't go past him at this stage, <laughs> but there's plenty of time left for those other guys to get back in there. That's right. Well, he ran good raffles last night, making money. Peter McCallum to tap forward. Looks the wrong way. Anderson now again, ever present. He's made a break. He can't get past the fullback. No pace. Looking for the prey. He picks him up. He's stepping a jink, he's going nowhere, Anderson back up again, the prey, oh. the prey right through, he's made a stir him up, great try, fantastic, there we go, all we need is a kick in there, a fantastic try there by Anderson, making the break, his initial break and the prey just to finish off, sensational. Well, that was a beautiful try. I mean, I hate to be a uh, the devil's uh, advocate, but uh, I actually thought the pass to Anderson was a tad forward, but uh, who am I to say that? Uh, but the, the, the run from Anderson... New South Wales, uh, <laughs> well, I'm actually a graduate of New South Wales University, but that has nothing to do with it. Um, no, but I thought Anderson's run was brilliant. He could have taken it up the centre, but he saw the chance to go out wide and give it to Dupre, and the run from the Dupre, magic. Oh, magic. Well, Dupre lagged there a bit, you know, I, I honestly thought when Daniel made that thing that Dupre wasn't there, but he had the pace to pick up Anderson because Anderson's so slow. <laughs> uh, unusual for Anderson didn't sort of beat anyone, but when I look back at it, he really didn't beat him because that fullback had hold of him. It just couldn't bring him down, but great pass. Anderson, I think all, all that try was Anderson's. But it's still yet to, to break a tackle, Anderson. He just gets through the breaks where people put him through. And, uh, well, it's backing up. It's backing yeah, up, backing and up. that's what he's there for. I mean, yeah. it is true. He well, hasn't got much pace. I mean, this I... Year, he'll be going into the Dock and Camper sprint training. It'll be... Uh, it'll start on about the 30th of October, and it'll go right through to the start of next season. So we'll probably uh, send a letter out to Daniel Anderson after seeing his poor performance in, in the uh, Spooster to attack them, we see. Well, Anderson's having a shocker out there, isn't he? I mean... What? Well, that Taylor, he's able to... <laughs> yeah. I mean, what? The game's been going for 20 minutes, and so far, Daniel Anderson's only set up two tries. I mean, that's just not good enough, that's is it? That's not good enough. He knows he can do better than that. He knows it. Well, Kelly, I reckon Kelly, that was one of his tries. Well, one of his best tries. We've just got a report from the stats department, and Anderson's only done 25 tackles. Oh, the man. Hey, well, you pay the man so much. Well... Who's kicking it? Yeah, not Kel Overton, it's is it? Kel Overton again. Well, you know, he likes well, it from we further out. Every commercial break, mate, and the score will be 8 0. <laughs> he moves in. One step. He ta oh, gee, it didn't go too Oh, oh. Fuck, Doyle! <laughs> oh, well, uh, the, the whole crowd moaned. Even the New South Wales fans moaned it was so bad. 
Who gave that bloke that bloody microphone? Well, there's some clown down there. He obviously hasn't been to microphone school and he's trying to announce the scores. Just leave that to the experts. It's 8 0 to college. Well, I tell you, mate. I think College have been making their most breaks through to forwards, and I just don't think, uh, think those New South Wales forwards have done enough to, to, to help clinch this game. And I think their backs are performing well, but just not enough in their, in, their, in their forwards department. Well, I can't agree with you enough, Paul. I mean, the gaps have been up the centre, and then they've taken it out wide for the tries. It's been a good effort. I think the only reason they take it out wide because their backs are coming in to try to do the forwards' work. Well, he's got him holding down massage. That's stupid. Hurtus or Hurtus or my, my knob hurts. Well, Hurtus, you didn't really hurt us much that time, mate. I mean, that doesn't hurt. That's pansy stuff. <laughs> By the way, Paul, um, someone seemed to forget you that this is a TV show, not a radio show this uh, this morning, and you didn't have a shave, mate. <laughs> well, I was, had other things on my mind. Uh, things like uh, sex. <laughs> Well, oh, Anderson in the other book. Cowing! Oh, you! Oh, oh, oh yeah. well. Thanks a lot, Yari. He even knows you, mate. Well, silence here. Yeah. That's a minute of silence for the referee who passed away the midweek. Anderson in the out over and out wide to Welsh. He's got a gap. Kill him with Remnant. Ooh! Oh, he's a hard man to bring down, is he? He's just a hard man. Hard to fear. Yari brought him down, too. Back inside. Hang on to it. Over there now. He just has to hang on to it. Well, Brownie, he's way out of condition. Well, oh, I think of the old Jets crackers here have been hit. Gillen's in trouble, and boy, when his Jets crackers get hit, you can really hear it. Oh, Anderson! Yeah. Silly pass. Well, but what the hell? Union, I thought they, they thought they were playing Union. Well, someone get out there and tell them it's league. Anderson with a kick. Well, that was off Millsy's, mate. Mills, Millsy's back. <laughs> it was, was off Millsy's. It was. <laughs> Run down, Millsy! Oh, college have got 14 players out there at the moment, apparently. That's number 11, Paul Kelly, mate, playing net tonight at Salinas. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's gone for offside. Yeah, that was Gillen. Gillen offside. He was offside a mile. Mind you, I didn't really think he came into play. What's that? What's Paul Kelly said? What Paul Kelly said? Hell. As we, as we said before, Paul Kelly and the Colour Girls will be playing Salinas later on tonight. He put in a good performance tonight too. Let's just hope he puts in a good performance today. Gillen's still down with the old Jets Crackers. There's a hooker, Keating now. That met by solid defence still. Well, it's apparently a good decision referee. He told him to play the ball. Argu argumentative halfback. You won't get anywhere with that, son. Well, I tell you what, Keating might be the world's best treasurer, but he certainly ain't the world's best hooker, mate. Oh, it's uh, Anderson yeah, to take the... Team, they? <laughs> they are yeah. a celebrity team. Oh, Keating, Jari Ihalian, <laughs> all the famous oh, names. He's getting off the game there a bit, Michael. I think we better get out of the game. There's a knock on there. Well, he's gone to hold Anderson to get the ball. He must be a school teacher, this referee. Well, there you go, Anderson in full stride over to get the ball. That's how he was running in that last break. Cowling. Oh, uh, uh, what was that penalty for? What was that penalty for? Well, he's given it. He's given the. Well, I think he wanted him to give the ball to the New South Wales. Oh! Well, come on. How could you not back chat? Well, that halfback has to be some. Ah. Some, some, uh, uh, that's silly. Ah. Uh, oh, the hook in here. He's the only forward running. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Well, referee's that's, lost control. That's what I know. No, I just think he's just he's just looking for anything now. Sure enough, he, he, he did something silly, but it was nothing needed for a friendly there. Halfback, well, he was looking for McCallum. McCallum should have just settled down. He was waiting for McCallum to do something after that push in the back. Anderson now to bring down. It's only 8 0. Well, they have elected not to take the kick. Silly. Paul, that is a horrendous decision. That hurts. Unless, that's um, hurt us, mate. That that's hurt, hurt them, hasn't it? Unless they uh, haven't got a goal kicker either. Uh, well, you've got that's a sensational ridiculous. goal kicker in Stokes, Chris Stokes, a uh, big lanky lad out here in the centres. Got a great boot. Put put them to the win that brought them straight into the grand final. Well, for, my, for mine, it's 8 0. You've got about 50 minutes to play in the game, or 40 minutes. You've got time to take the two and then bring it within a converted try. Of, oh, of for sure, mate. I mean, the two there, they quickly turn back around because they have college on the turnaround. You come back, you maybe get a try. Well, there you go. It's eight apiece, but here we go. Good pay off, but it isn't. That's what they've got to do. They've got to stop that three men in the tackle, and he gets, still gets a ball away. Well, what are they going to do? They're sending it deep. The halfbacks decided to take it up the middle. 
Cheers to Peter Anderson now again with another spring. Having a fine game, Anderson, isn't he? Well, let's face facts, Anderson's having a blinder I and... Uh, man. Kelly! Well, they're all men out there, Paul, I hope. Michelle the prey, mate. Oh, Come on. Sorry about that. Well, I tell you what, the defence looks a bit weak out this side, but they take it the other way through Duggo. And he's got the ball out this way now. Well, she's got it. Patch was on his outside, but he elected to keep the ball. I'd just like to say that Castle now is starting to turn in what New South Wales started in the first half, bunching up, not regrouping enough. Anderson just doing this, the, the right thing, just shipping up. And he, oh, ball. Have a go at that. Well, it's play on. No. Anderson down the centre, back in. Needed to give the fish out, but not the ball. Oh, well. Anderson to Anderson combination again and a bit of offside play there. But Anderson dumbfounded that, that ball was still sitting there and then left alone. And I think he should have run a bit more. And you know, what's he given? I don't know. Is someone back to him or is he just. This is ridiculous. Well, I don't know what that was. He's just giving him yards for no reason. Castle will do the right thing, get up there, make turn, turn defence into attack. And nah, mate, this is stupid. The referee just taking taking good play into, into his own hands. I tell you what, uh, Airheads had a good. Uh, a uh, pair of heels there, and uh, he was looking good. That's right, mate. As they bring their winger in, Scott Salter. Jeez, he's a bit salty, that bloke. Okay, Steve Dill. He's a bit of a dill, this bloke, isn't he? A Just bit salty. <laughs> wow. Salter. Salter, I think Salter had a game with South Sydney. His father, was it Jack Salter, played for South Sydney. Well, that halfback threw so many dummies back there that he had no players left to give the ball to. He gave it to Dill because he's a bit of a Dill. Pissed it. Paul Kelly, there you go. He just, he just gives a sing in the scrum. That's what I like about this man. He keeps harmony. He soothes the beast. He just gives a good song. I don't know why. I think he hides his guitar in his pants. <laughs> I thought he was just happy to see me. <laughs> no one's happy to see you, Hollands, with that haircut. Airhead now with the ball. He's got pace to burn. He'll run around these forwards. This is too easy. Go past Yari. Oh! Well, Hay will put that on replay later on. That'll go down as one of the hits of the week. Huge. Well, he's just, I don't know. That's a rip. That's a rip or two. Anderson now still going. Well, I think I think, I think think they should get a man out of him because he's got to have no guts left. Kel Haven and with a great sprint. Anderson ever present. Oh, he caught the ball. Well, well uh, Mills, he's not watching the game. Get out there, mate. There's a man down. Millsy. Good call from Paul Tonkin from the commentary box to get the trainer out on the field. Well, I tell you what, they could oh, could boy, need a replacement it. here. In fact, they've called for me to put my boots on. Oh, well, Paul, I'll have to pass. Really <laughs> well, he's trouble. He's turning his side. This could be trouble. Got a huge step. They've turned it back in their forwards, but no one there. Pat Priya making the right decision, taking out another player. Once again, uh, Kel Overton try saving tackle. Sensational, mate. Well, here we go. If they if Castle can keep out this time, they've quite a lot of pressure in New South Wales, and they can't cross the line here. I think they're going to find it hard in the second half to even get down on their own half. Well, in the second half, College are going to have the advantage of the win, and uh, through the boots of uh, men like Anderson and Cowling, they'll get the ball right in Doyle, they'll have the ball right down in in New South Wales Uni's half. And that's a penalty, what's that for? Not playing the ball properly? He just pushed it through with his hand, you know, he looked dumb fan, but he knew he did the wrong thing. Yeah, well, you know, I don't know about, you know, he's, in the, into, he's into the last page of the rule book there, isn't he? <laughs> he's... Bringing them out all for grand final day. He's on show, isn't he? He's a bit yeah, of a show pony. A show pony mate. We, we come here to see a game of rugby league, not a referee go around. They're just two highlighters these days, aren't they? Two pretty boys. Next you'll see him in two his ads. Oh, well, here he goes. He's gone, he's, he's gone to behind the back page. He's on the back cover of the rule book now. I think he's reading the rugby league week, mate, for rules. To pray with a nice scurrying run. Anderson now to Prio. Cowling on the run, but he elects not. They give it to him. Cowling will be pissed off. I'll talk to him that about after the game. Anderson, Craig Anderson gives it to Dago. Haven't seen him for a while, but he's still playing solid in defence. Just makes it up to the halfway line. Craig Anderson, a dummy half. Kelhaven wants to the ball. No one seems to be there. Walshy and the Ferg Doyle sort of looming up there because we're looking for Patch. And when we look for Patch, where is he? But out the other wing. Pat Prio now. They're going to watch that inside and they're going to do so. Craig Anderson now, nowhere there. They've just got to let him take the settler. Daniel Anderson now, dummy half. That's the last. They need to kick. Kill Haven and I'd say we'll be doing the kicking uh, to that right-hand corner patch on side, but doesn't seem to want to get up there. 
Ben's a smart because it stayed up in that wing. He's their, their winger, John Milner. I mean, driven back. He's lost the ball to pray for his second chance. Well, why isn't that a, an advantage play on there, mate? Uh, I don't well, think he likes his advantage at all, this referee. He's, uh, he's, I think he's called that the prey knocked it on. I couldn't see it myself. Uh, he, uh, let's put it this way. If he gives the feed to New South Wales, he, that's it. I give up. Well, and he has. <laughs> well, I don't believe it. They've lost the ball in the first. It's, mate, you always play the first knock on. Oh, that's offside. No, well, the wrong bloke picked it up. I, I, I take that back. I thought the halfback would have picked it up, but the fullback did. So I'm a goose and play on. Halfback now with the ball. This is where they want to play their game, Castle Hill. It can't be long to go in this, this first half. And it's all been Castle Hill, all one-way traffic. But now we move up with a hook. He's in another good game, it's Jason Keating. Oh, what's it, Jason Keating? Mate, it was Graham Waters. They spin it out wide, out of the praise wing. Struggle, he wants him to play. Oh, I don't know, mate, I don't know. They, man. Oh, God. This referee just too much of a whistle. I think someone should steal his pee out of his whistle at half time. Well, the halfback just taking a long little grubber. That's Danny Walsh. Okay, Jason Keating to take it. Thanks, Phil. Okay, now number number 10, Bill Kearney, with a ball. He's taking it 10 metres over the halfway line. This is Stephen Dill with a ball. Well, brought there down by Dago and Pat Pruo. Sensational hit, big man clashing out here today. It's great. Here's the halfback turning back. Well, that could have, for my mind, could have been a shepherd. But it isn't with Cowling with a great run. Well, I have no idea because I wasn't watching the game. Uh, so. What jacket you wearing? Uh, thank you. Northern uh, that's uh, Northern District Rugby League Football Club. Yes, I put in a few Northern years for them. Uh, it's in North. Uh, it's in the North Districts of New Zealand. <laughs> thank you, sideline I, I Spoonsy. Shall I open him? Oh, no, he brings him down. Sensational. Well, huge hit from Flash. Huge hit from Flash there. And he's going for a second tackle, but he's... Oh, look how offside they are. Oh, he's still throwing and they let it go. Grubber, Dupre. They know which wing to kick to because last time Dupre had a shot at fullback. I think they're going to pick him out all day because he doesn't have a real good game with the uh, Grubber. I think he, he... Just right the last minute, we'll check that on replay later on. It was with half time earlier. I think he looked up the wrong time. He just looked up. He should have taken the ball first, Dupre. OK, we'll take a station break. to the glorious ground of New South Wales. So we just have a nice picture of the crowd. Huge crowd, still people rolling in. and see shots coming in fluently. Fantastic crowd. You've got the likes down there, the ex-players of Castle College, of Scott York. Bit of a goo, but always solid. You've also got Ian Hazelwood, the man that doesn't know what he's talking about. He uses a lot of big words, but not a bad bloke to boot. Also got got blades down there like Dick Lester, a filthy scumbag who comes from Albury. Very funny in his peak time. Tony Garrigal, I don't know Tony Garrigal, so don't mention him. There's a Peter Misford down there somewhere too with his congratulations to him on his engagement to Shari. And oh, hey, just have a look at Phil Pascal to pray. Got to be one of the one of the ugliest men here. Him and Phil, and it is look. Phil Dupree, no idea. OK, back to the game as we see Big Cowling coming out of the tunnel. Once she hears that I'm here, she's always here now. I hate when she gives me the eye because I don't know how I'm going to tell Hosty. But anyhow, I have to tell Hosty that I've got sperm. But anyhow, Jeff Cowling. Well, as we see, we got in camera Jeff Cowling, great player. Playing fine season this year. An 86 made a grand final with the Lane Cove District League Club of the under-19s, but unfortunately was brought down by a... He ate a bit of curry, and I think he was, got a bit of curry out of it, mate. Had the runs, couldn't play and uh, in the grand final, but surely part of that team. And this will be his first grand final win, victory. I can see him being... Besides last year, yes, OK, besides last year. He liked it last year, but he's going to like it a lot better because he's in second grade. What I meant is it'll be his first one in second grade. Well done, Jeff Kelly, and good luck. OK, we take off for the second half. High, huge kick down, and Anderson to take it. Here we turn it back there to their redhead fullback. Peter Bauer, please sit down. Sit up here, mate, so I can pass the microphone to you. Their fullback. See, fullback. Um, where's, your, where's your program, mate? They get better here. OK, just excuse us, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a bit of a side. There's Kelly, the men we were talking about earlier. 
Greg Kay. I'm on, I'm on the 12 o'clock game. I'll just turn me page and get on to the second grade. Okay, this first 10 minutes, most important, a huge long ball out of the winger. The prey won't miss him. Well done, Michelle Le Prey. Doug Owen. Thingo. Well, here they take it up with another winger. He's way off his singo. That's uh, Scott Salter. Bally, I'd like to welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Peter Bauer to the microphone for this second half encounter between Castle College, New South Wales Uni. Well picked up, Michelle Le Prey. Peter Bauer, welcome. Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, yeah, mate, Castle playing well, playing real well. Games are won in the pigs and. Uh, you know, you look at the pigs, Daniel Anderson, we've mentioned, huge game, but what about fellas like Pete McCallum, that's him with the ball, how good is he? Playing well, mate, brought him out through the ranks myself, fine player. He's another man, a veteran, Pat Prio, try scoring machine. Yeah, well, there's Brown, we're talking about forwards, mate, there's a, there's a forward when he wants to play, he's huge, he's just too big to bring down, too big, too fast. It's Daniel Anderson again. Another man out there too is uh, Duggo, you can't go past John Douglas. He's really? getting a bit long in the tooth, but he's yeah, still he's still he's hungry well, for a victory today after last year's loss. Well, mate, where's me? Mick said earlier in the game, he really doesn't have the physique for football. I think his game is soccer now. Curly locks, headband that we can't even see, knees just I don't know. He's ah, he's, yeah, he's uh, you know, overall he's not a bad bloke and probably put in a good performance. Yeah, the reason for that is that whenever Gilroy put on a um, a religious play, he usually plays Jesus, so that's why they've done that. Is, it, it, is that why he always tries to drown, because uh, he's always trying to walk on water? That's right, and also his hands are bleeding, you'll probably notice that too. <laughs> oh no, get away from those, Jakes. Okay. <laughs> well, he left behind Peter McCallum with a ball. Let's hope the referee stays out of this game and just lets it fly in a second half, but do you think the referee had too much encounter in that... Too much to do in the counter in the first half. I was moderately impressed with the referee's performance, actually, but compared to the third grade ref, he had a shocker. Uh, well, let's not talk about the third grade ref. Just let's all control. And I think we'll see more open game in the second half here. Well, we need it, mate. It's uh, I think it's more Castle's play. So back to the scrum. New South Wales through the ball. He hasn't put it in once in the middle. So anyhow, Anderson to bring him down. That's um, Denny Walsh, mate. You've got to watch him in fine play for New South Wales. And there's their hooker also, Jason Cooting, with a fine performance out of, the, um, out of the New South Wales side in the first half. You know, not, many, not too many players are half and hooker had a good game. Yari, but uh, I don't think too many else contributed to New South Wales' performance in the first half. No, that's right. But uh, New South spinning it wide now. What about Paul Gillen? <laughs> well, I can just say, Patch, you really are unfit, and I don't think you deserve to be in second grade. I think you're you're shaking hands with uh, Dave Daly, the uh, the first grade coach next week, mate. Next year to take on third grade coaching uh, because Ian Hazelwood won't be doing it next year after his dismal performance and letting the third grade lose today. You do want to get yourself out of that too, Don, and keep the flow going there. <laughs> this scrum pack's down. Castle Hill ball. Craig Anderson gets it away to o kill over to Here's, Here's Flash. Oh! What? <laughs> Six points. Yeah, well, I could have been, mate, but look at that referee. Why doesn't he just let it flow? Yeah, goose. Yeah. You don't stop Flash that close to the line either. No, mate. He's a patch on the rest. Well, who's this ball? This is anybody screwing. All right, mate, keep the sexy out of it, will you? Sorry. Okay, there's Denny Walsh with the ball. Melinda had a walk past, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, and she, hey, thank God women like her invented the camera up elite. Here's a bus there by the long Stokesy in the centres. What? <laughs> did she? Who cares? What'd she do? Well, Ben McCallum, <laughs> well, we were asking, did she walk past? We'd all know as she walked past because there's a lot of men, old men having heart attacks. The first blood rush they've had in a while. Okay, what are they going to do? They didn't let the kick have taken the, the taken the shot. Taken the shot. 8 0. Easy to get within a try scoring uh, opportunity there of them. Well, I was saying to me in the last 10 minutes, New South Wales pressured Castle's line for about the last 10 minutes and didn't sort of get over the line. So let's just hope that's things that come. Can Castle Hill keep them out for it's any a bit longer of a danger period? period? It is a huge danger period. The first 10 minutes of the second half, mate, always dangerous. And traditionally, college relax. Let's hope not today, mate, because it's green. Spinning final. it wide. That's a bad pass. This, this could be good for Dean Fitzgerald because oh. if he gets the ball, he's too quick. Well, he just lets uh, Stacey get it. I don't know whether that was a good decision or not. Well, he hasn't given six to go, has he? 
well, he was going to blow the whistle then, but he lets, lets Bush run ahead. Here comes their halfback to take up a settler. They're forwards, mate. Where are their forwards? Where are, they're bludgeoned, mate. They are. Not interested. Not interested at all. Not today. Blokes like Maybe Anderson. last week, mate, they were ready for fire, but today... Anderson, McCallum, Brown, Douglas, uh, Prio. Let's not take something away from our forwards, because they... And really Cowling. They're, awesome well, they have. They've just dictated play today, and these Union New South blokes don't want to know about it. They're gone. They're shot. Well, I don't know. He's let them play a lot on there, because that was about the fourth tackle here, and then the ball's gone over, and now he's only caught 50 now, so... It's at eight thing, oh, there's a chip. Ooh. Well, that'll go out. What was that last tackle? They'll put in a scrum. Big push here by New South Wales. You see them with an advantage over the ball and probably take over the line. But now our forwards aren't repacked, resettled. We've got the feed, though. Got the feed. That means nothing, mate. In this well, we've got the ball. Good Craig run. Anderson's brought down close to the touchline. Mr. Prey moving into dummy half. He'll run from there. Not very far. <laughs> A few metres across field. Uh, back's way offside. Ferg Doyle. Oh, mate, he's a player to be oh. reckoned with. Future things, mate, I can see him running around. Long up legs. Doesn't have the greatest thighs, but doesn't, look, he doesn't really look the football. Look at this. There he is. There, there he is. You won't see him now. That's it. Try time. That's it. Try time. Try time. Well, he's picking up Dago. Can't get He's just won through gas. Well, they've got him. Well, well, can we say? He just ran out of puff. He didn't have any support, mate. He needed it. Anderson now dictate play back in the middle. Prior to the broken leg, the flash of 86 would have scored. Mate, yes, of course. Of course. They're deep now on the left-hand side. Goes to Prio. He needing of an inside runner. Well, he's got all the skills, that, Prio. That number 10, mate, I think he in fit. Well, I don't know. That seemed to be a short tackle count, mate. Oh. I don't know. Was it, was it me or was it the referee? I, think, I don't know, mate. It uh, looked quick to me, too. Made a lot of yardage. What seemed a pretty short time. Okay, back to the play. On the quarter line is New South Wales steaming up with their first four to run and about the last six sets of tackles. They're hooked still. Now we go as with Hurtus. He hasn't hurt us much. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, that's his name, Bowdy. Don't look at the program, mate. We know Hurtus. He's a halfback. Stepping a jink. Quick off the pace, still getting ball away. Half and hooker, mate, having a sensational game for New South Wales. Can you try and say the name of one of their uh, prop forwards here? Yari, hard to pronounce. Good drinker, mate. Okay. He's uh, related to Gary George, I think. Gary George? Nah. Nah, relation. Well, here's oh, a try. Oh, oh. This could be a try. It's not going to be. It's not going to be. Yeah. Well, he's pushed him on the ball. Stroy time. Well, stupid mistake there by the winger. Thanks very much, son. You've scored us a try. Oh. Instead of driving on the ball himself, he's pushed. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, mate, if I was a coach of Union New South Wales, get him off. Get him off straight away. Well, that's been my decision, mate. Either way, he's pushed him. I reckon that would have been a penalty try for mine. Yeah, no worries. No well, worries. thanks very much, New South Wales Uni uh, winger, Scott Salter. Remember that name. I don't mind telling you, Ipso is not the quickest man. I don't think he'd have reached there if uh, he hadn't been pushed. And that's a huge in gold. Uh, in gold. Just huge in gold. Well, yeah, huge in gold. I was going to say dead ball line. I or even in goal area. In goal area, thanks very much. Daniel Anderson now to take the kick. This is what we can need, just a kick. But there's, there's Castle uh, forcing the error uh, onto... This looks like a uh, reversal of last year. We are uh, all three grades again. Well, New South Wales in a huddle. A lot of arguing. Oh, well, the coach or the trainer is laying down the law now. They didn't need that because they were up here early before on Castle's line, pressuring them in the first 10 minutes, and now I've come down here and only be down here for the first six set of six, and Castle go in. Dean Lanson move in now. Well, he misses the kick. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Well, we're in trouble. Three tries, and New South Wales aren't out of it, Pete. I think they are, mate. I think they are. I think they're shot. The uh Okay, you heard a first beat bow. I was predicting that in the early stages of the second half. So go on, Pete. Well, that, that was the try we needed. That's breaking the camels back, that one, and they're gone. Uh, uni, they, look, they're disinterested. If we can just have a quick look at Uni down there, they're gone. They, they well, if we can have a quick look at Uni, if we can have a quick look at Uni, thanks, thanks very much. Pig's disinterested, mate. Pig's disinterested. Yeah, that's the first sign. No, we won't apologise for anything you do, Mick Holland. Now on the camera. Okay, to start off, here's the halfback. He'll send it oh, deep back into Anderson. In well, he hasn't now. taken on the f only four. Well, that's good. Well, he's given it to. Oh, Jesus! Thanks a lot, Daniel Anderson. Is Ferg Doyle just saying? 
saying to Dean Landis and Pat Prea now, well, he was going to take the blind of him. Look, Jeff Kelly now. Makes it up well, ever present Jeff Keely. At one stage, he had me in the match, the first two minutes of this game. He was our man of the match. Kyle Avenham with a solid strong run. Are you through? Well, there he is, Primo Callum. He has got the pace to Fitzgerald with his hands up. That's no good, Dean. You've got to slip up with a play. He was about 40 yards behind, and he's got his hands out. They're spinning this way. They've got to get it to Dean now. Bad pass by Daniel Anderson. Chipping a chase. Well done. Well done there by the fullback. Just taking over. Safe hands, Andrew Whitten. He's another solid player there for New South. Has it been a replacement, Pete? Pretty smart thinking from Dean Fitzgerald, actually, and uh, that surprised me a bit. It wasn't a bad kick. Well, he only has spurts of thinking, I'd say, in, in times of about 20 seconds, and if he can think in 20 seconds, and that'll do him for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah. There's no doubt about his pace, but it, uh, I'm a bit worried about the, the upstairs there. <laughs> upstairs. The Mate, I don't think he has anything upstairs. That's probably why he got the nickname I'll you, I'll tell you something that has got something upstairs, and that's Mrs. Host. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's down there. <laughs> <laughs> what about Melinda Hannah, mate? Oh, I don't know, mate. I've, I've passed that. Is your name Dan Oh, only downstairs of the Dan Lennon and looking to be a. Oh, no, that was P. McCallum. They need to spin it. Well, this is a funny formation. Looks like they're playing 10 pin bowling. Paprio with a solid charge. He can't get it. Dago now with the ball. No, they've dropped the ball. Well, it's a penalty. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We don't care. Good penalty. Double movement, mate. Double movement. But, uh, no, I think it was offside, mate. He passed it, Dago. Right, Dago dropped that ball. Right. Paprea dropped it. Right. I think you're right. Take over, Pete. We'll have a sip of my beer. Thanks, mate. No, not a problem. Spoonsy. Spoonsy. So, penalty news out there on their own goal line. Looking well, to clear. Mate, there's been a replacement. That We'll get that on. There's a huge donk on there. A huge donk of a man. I'm looking probably at uh, Stephen, no, it's not Stephen Dill. I'm looking at either Bill Kearney, oh, mate. maybe Paul Kelly, because he's got a singer Salinas tonight. Hey. <laughs> hey. There's number 10, Bill Kearney, so he's not off. Well, I'm still looking for numbers to see what, you know, they're he's, five, eight. He's set himself for a run now. Is he? He's a big fella, the big donk. That's number 16, we'll call him Gavin, David Bogies. Okay. We'll get a name here to him later. Oh, huge hit by Dago on number 12, Stephen Dill. Dill it. Okay, they spin it wide now. Well, the fullback's done that, at, what, three or four times in the first half, mate? Just He's scared. Bursting onto the ball, but not even taking the ball, doesn't even want the ball. Scared, mate, scared. Oh, not interested good... in running with it. No, well, they, well they, look at that. Throw a blanket over. This halfback's trying anything. Could, 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 could promise to be something. Well, he can't get that, apparently. Well, he has. Well, good acting. Yeah, great, great, great performance. Doyle, mate, one of, one of the most gentlemen. The nicest most, guys in rugby nicest league, Doyle. He's a gentleman. No dirty stuff from him, mate. You'll probably see the halfback involved in the next play here. He's got the penalty, he knows it well, now. Mate, he'll be up he'll be in the next play. In, in when I think about it, if they pop, this, they pop a goal here, it would have been 12 6. Nah. And they were in the game, but not now. Well, we've seen one goal kick today out of 10 attempts, so I wouldn't be too sure that he would have kicked a goal. Well, oh, mate, they, they have a solid kick. I, I don't know. Well, he's got There's the ball. There's Dugo, Dugo, Pete deal McCallum, Pat Prio. Steve Dill with the ball, mate. Any comment about Steve Dill? Yeah, he's still. Uh, well, what else can you say? <laughs> well, that's, that's, number number that's number eight, Yardy. Don't, don't even think about his last name. And they move it wide. Here's another pressman here. Here he is, is the donk. donk. The donk. Hard man to put down, but they bring him down anyhow, right in the middle of the oval. <coughs> Under the sticks. Oh, they're deep here. They're looking for a back. Is Patch Gillen out there? He is. Well, he's broken one. Unusual to see Kill Avon and miss a tackle. Yeah, so yeah he might be carrying. him for a five minutes. Well, here's his okay, hooker. Old. Serves a try if anyone. Solid pressing. Lovely little bit of looking up here now. Hmm. Okay, they spin up while they're still pressing. This 5-8 with a grab, I'd say. Well, is it too big? It is too big. And no ends on that. We'll bring it back to the quarter for the restart. I just noticed a little earlier, we're um, over with the fellas over there, and he's whole uh, host of women, and <laughs> isn't that a funny name for a <laughs> collective <laughs> noun for women, a host, host of, of women? women. <laughs> Anyhow, it, uh, it was real Mound City over there a bit <laughs> earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I heard she hosts us a good party, mate. <laughs> well, <laughs> slow tatties by Castle. Is this needed? Do so they keep the flow up? Well, we're still looking for the replacement, and I think I was right in Paul Kelly being, being the man to come off. Yeah. But he is playing at Selena yes, tonight. Selena's tonight. Uh, with, with the, the colour um, girls, mate. No, it's not no, the colour girls. It's not the colour girls, girls um, anymore. 
Starts with an M. It's not the mechanics or something. No, no, no. it's the Paul Kelly and the... the messengers. And the messengers. And the messengers. What messages do they say? Brunch. <laughs> I didn't hear. Okay, this is a pullback. Wait Andrew for the pass. Wait for the pass. He won't pass, mate. He'll just have to run it solid. Well, met by Craig Anderson and Duggo. Duggo yeah, playing a so. great defensive role today. Good to see. Well, now they move it out. They still have the runners number three. That's stakes, mate. He's John Douglas, one of the success stories of transition from centres to forwards. No, mate. Probably needed it about three years ago. So I think it came a bit too late. I mean, the man surely was over too overweight and too slow to play in the backs, but I don't know, he, he just wanted to persist out there, hoping that all his younger days had come back to him, but they didn't, so he finally gave into his, uh, gave into himself and, and, and made himself a better better forward than he did a back in those later stages, about three years yeah. ago. I remember a few of those games late last year, Donk, where you were on the wing, and, um, you know, like we'd be looking for the back line movement, and I was just cutting out, Doug, because he just wasn't there, and uh, it was you and me, really, wasn't it? That's right, mate, you know, and I, I mean, just just quietly between me and you, I'm not I'm not the best built Blake, but I'm quick, you know. I knew my pace was there, and he just he just didn't, you know, he just didn't have his confidence. He was overweight, he slow, he was slothy, you know. Overall, he's just a big pig. <laughs> I mean, come on, let's face facts, don't you? You're a sloth. Stay in the fours, mate. We love you there. Good defensive role. Anyhow, Ennis with the ball takes over the halfway. Craig Ennis is dumping hard. Pat Proy now to collect the ball. Brownie hasn't enough runnings. He's Pat Dillon. Hard man to tackle. He gets it away now to Michelle Dupre. We really want to see uh, it to go the other wing. I think I want to see more play by Dean Fitzgerald. Yeah, or even, I wouldn't mind seeing Kev Holland. Well, here we go. P. McCallum. We're looking for Dean Fitzgerald as we said. Oh, oh, no. I don't know. Oh, what can we say? Get him off. <laughs> Bring on Kevin Hollands. Kevin Hollands. Well, there's been a replacement, number 14. For number six is oh, Graham nice. Waters to be replaced by number 14, Tony Armstrong. Formerly of uh, Cronulla. Tony Armstrong? Yeah. Tony Armstrong, now formerly of uh, Apollo 13. All <laughs> oh, right. Neil's brother. Yeah. Neil's brother. Oh, no, bad jokes. <laughs> Neil Waters. Neil. <laughs> ne ben Daver, I think his brother's. What ever happened to John Citizen Brown? John? I don't know. We'll get back to him later. So, anyhow, is this John We can put that in the segment where well, we put shit on. Well, she misses a tackle. Um, Brownie now. Quiet game by John Brown. I well, think he's well, got to think about going into the props instead of the lock, mate, because. He's a bigger slug and sloth than Duggo. Thanks well, a lot, referee. I think you're a bit of a goose. You're slowing down the game once again. Thanks very much. I'd just like to pay down, if, if, if you can pan down, on this touch judge here. You, you, you'll see him in the kick. How beautifully his hair's done. Who does it? Stefan? Nicely Stephane? groomed beard. Since, well, I tell you what, he'd look good. The strawberry daiquiri may be in front of him. In tight leather pants. And maybe a nice leather hat. Okay. Yeah, mate, he'd look great in There's a pair of dirty old overalls. He would. He'd, oh, he'd look, look great in anything. Well, I heard. Uh, he'd look great in some jelly, I reckon. Well, I heard with the dirty old overalls with one strap down. They're looking for a bait like that. They can fit him. Oh, and swing of the head. head. Swing of the head. <laughs> well, they're looking for a bait for neighbours because I heard Henry Rands is leaving. They need a bait that can fit into his overalls and just drop every strap off and apparently wear nothing all the way through every show, even through in winter. <laughs> so anyhow, they spin up wide there, deep this time. Fullback finally Full takes back, a ball. There is the pass, and it goes to ground again. Yes, well, kill over it. Well, there we go, he's got to knock on. <laughs> Slowing down the game once again. Thanks a lot, very referee. I think the boys will be thinking, even maybe in the later stages... There's of this a feral arc. kid down there too. Feral kid? Yeah, oh, well, he's a feral kid. <laughs> I don't think you should do anything. OK, with the ball now, it's kill over it. I don't know where Walshy to be, be the man to, to take the ball from the mouth. I think he's going to start looking for replacements in the college Big side. Big Dan Anderson. Oh, huge man. Pat Prio calling for it on the open. And he's got it. He's got Brownie too. Here's Brownie. Legs pumping. Well, he didn't seem to sort of run as solidly as he should have. Pete McCallum was on his hip pocket. He's always in everyone's hip pocket, mate. Well, Walsh here we go. Walsh, Walsh, mate. Oh, oh Pat. Flash. What do you call him Patch for? Well, one day I was sitting there talking to Flash, as he's, as he's well known, and I accidentally, for some reason, I, ha I just went, excuse me, Patch, and it's stuck. Like well, it. here, Dago! Dago! Catch it! Oh, oh. Doyle, man! And he, well, he, he's They've safe as a bank, mate. One. He's normally safe as a bank. I don't know. With this win and You want to blame Dago for it? We'll blame Dago for it. Bad pass, Dago. You goose. Get off. If I was a coach, I'd be getting him off. Get off, Dago. Look at you. Yeah, soccer player. 
And uh, Castle Hill reluctant to use reserves. Yes, well, I've... Have they got any? Well, they have, mate. They've got... In, in Michael O'Brien, we've paid a... Blinder. Oh, mate, sensation. You, they just brought it right out of the bag in a grand final. Robbie Magner at a big one, too. Robbie Magner, you know, he can probably rest Duggo and, and push Brownie in the second round, put Magner at lock, which is a great defence, which you need in these later stages to tighten up the middle a bit where they're starting to run to, towards. But, you know... I think Craig Anderson, he can't get his message through to Hostie and, and plays like uh, Macker. I, I think they're just too slow to react. They don't read the same game as Craig Anderson. But Jeff Keeling having another fine game, I think you'd leave him there to the end, mate. Oh, you would have to. He's deserved it. Deserves oh, to stay on. Is. Well, they're deep this time. What can they do with the ball? They're short too. Pat Skillen's going to get up. Well, apparently there's go the bird, but I think his name's Stokes. I'll tell you advantage. what, that, that donk lookalike doesn't actually have the pace. Well, I don't know. He doesn't have the pace. Dave Daly now going to check the clock. I think he'll be making a replacement soon for Craig Anderson, who's playing the great halfback role today as captain coach. So they've gone the blind. Watch him, he'll chip. There's nobody home. The third door saves the bank, <laughs> mate. Sensational. Those New South Wales backs were offside, but we won't question it because it was great play there by... Here's Brownie. Brownie. Oh, three tries to nil. Three tries to nil, mate. Three tries to nil. I mean, <laughs> Fergie Doyle, great. Here he is again, backing up. Colo Evan running like a charging, rampaging forward ball. <laughs> oh, huge. Ray. AK Pat Pereira, Daniel, Daniel Anderson. Daniel Anderson. Well, I'm always sick of saying their names are involved in everything. Yeah, they are, mate. There's Michelle the break coming in, right? Well, that had to Thanks be. very much. Smallest man so on the field. Well, we haven't seen many penalties for that. It's been a good game. They've been getting off clean. Nice playing game, no spiteful. Dug Dug trouble. Well, that's a trouble. I'd be looking now for Robert Magna for sure, mate. Robert Magna. I, know, I don't know. I mean, there's probably not, not time for me to say, but I don't think, think Damon O'Brien's yet to come on. I don't, don't think well, he's Rob's moving, moving down. down. He's got a camera in his hand. Well, he, he just take a few shots inside. He's got our cam on now, TV cam for inside scrums, mate. He just gives us a rundown on the scrums and on footy cam. Jeff Cowling now with a side run. He runs it a bit wide. He's made, oh, huge break. Come on, Cowbo, they're saying. Craig Anderson, Pat Pruitt directing plays like a little... Right through, right through, right through, right through, right through, through mate. Over, this is good. Right time. There he oh, oh, no. Well, I don't know. That was a try. That was so oh. As a goose down there saying, ha, but look at the score about board goose. It's 12-0, uh, not long to go. I think you're a bit of a goose yourself, mate. Here we go. <laughs> Pat Pruitt's bust. Well, Pat Pruitt, let's talk about his weight now, mate. Just couldn't get his left armour over that sort of yeah. pot belly yeah. there with his bad bad grandfather singlet on. I've seen him in the dressing room with his grandfather singlet on. I, I, as I said, I told him, hadn't seen one of those singlets until this morning when my dad took off his pyjamas. Well, I don't and know. Uh, he's slowing down the game. I think that was better for New South Wales not to receive the penalty there. Quick play of the ball. Well, he's taking a quick tap. Dean Anderson on side, but he's misses the tackle. Right through. Berg Doyle, safe oh, as a bank. Safe as a bank, mate. Sensational Slice pullback. Slice over tackle. Sensational pullback. Donk. Donk. Well, he doesn't have the pace at Donk. No, don't have the, don't have the pace. I'll go to the point, though. This is a good one. Well, he's offloaded. He's offloaded. Well, Try time. Well. No, is it? Is it? No. Oh, he's brought down Great close defense, to the line. A lot of, a lot of support there. Couldn't oh, get it. Shoes, Couldn't could. slip it. This has got to be. They can't. That's still in it. Oh, try to pray. To pray. Oh, oh, no. Referee, you've got to be joking, mate. He was away. He was away. If he now gives his food to bloody New South Wales, well, I'm going to piss me pants. No way. Not by Mish. No, not by Mish. Well, he's given it to him. How does he oh, work oh. <laughs> piss your pants, oh, too. Yes. <laughs> Oops, just pardon me while I trickle my pants. And it's a college win, so well, justice done. Thanks very much, Ref. You can cheat some of us some of the time, but you can't cheat us all of the time. Yeah, well, you can Whatever take... that makes. You, well, you can take the boy out of Wentworthville, but you can't take the Wentworthville out of the boy. Uh, well done there by P. McCallum. An error made, but he makes up for it and gets the ball back. We need a big push lob. He just did in that scrum. Another uh, uni feed. In, out. Well, I don't know why he's not penalising for that. Why isn't that feed across, son? Well, what's he want? I don't know what he wants. I think I know what he needs, but mate, he needs a punch in the head. We'll see a replace from number eight, I think. Craig Hayne. Greg Hayne. Number 19. Number 19. Probably, I don't, I don't want to put... Um, He's back Yari now with the ball. Who would you say he'd be on for? 
Well, mate, I don't Penny know. Penny Hoste and the blokes, I reckon. There's that name, yeah. Host again. Number two, Host. <laughs> I reckon yeah. he's going to replace Bill yeah. Kelly. There's a try. Donk. Donk. Donk in. Forward pass. Donk in. Yeah, but he said... Three feet, mate. Three feet forward. Not a doubt. Not a forward doubt, pass. Mate. Didn't actually see but I knew it'd have to be. But this referee, well, he, he ended up giving them that try. He may as well. I just hope Castle don't crack, because if they crack, this this could be dangerous, because we're sitting in New South Wales territory. Yeah, and 12-6 for sure. 12-6 for sure. They're back in the game, mate. They are. I, I'd like to get a rundown on how long they go. We'll, we'll, we'll probably get down on our TV man and see how long they go. You just keep talking, Pete. Yeah, I, I don't think there could be enough time. Deep kick re required from uh, college to get the game underway, and we'll play it down there into the track. Too, mate. They got a win. They got to kick over the over the roadside, really deep into the goal, mate. And we'll play it down there in. That's for sure. Well, let's stay with the kick. Oh, it's fallen over. Mega, mega. There's only nine. nine minutes there, yeah, Well, I think that they're going to have to do it really quick as New South Wales. If they want to win this game or take to a draw, they've got to turn around quick, bring it back in the Castle Hills half and cross the line and then say within, give themselves seven minutes to go. Yeah. Well, he's well, got it. the two. Got the two. It was 12-6. Nine minutes to go. It's probably push, pushing now. And right. how costly now are those three or four tries that uh, College bombed earlier on? Well, a lot. There's a touch, Judge. Got the touch judge oh, he's view. beautiful. Love Sensational. Him. That here doesn't move, mate. That here's not moving. That is great. Well, I don't know. There's this, this hope that Castle can hang on. They, they don't need to rush anything. Well, he's got the time off now. We're just sensible. Rightly so. I know it's a legend down there, John McMartin. He was eager to have a game, mate, but uh, better things came. Castle little banning from all games of this year. Right. Which is great. Great for the game. But so I would have been looking for a kicker, not in Kill Overton style. I would have been looking for more Dean Anderson with his deep... Uh, strong leg. Strong leg. Yeah, but here goes Kill now to restart play. Eight minutes remaining, I'd say, now. They kick it deep into that corner, like I said earlier. Here's this winger. Let's hope he can make a goob. That's John Milner. Smallest John man on the field, yeah, apart Craig from Craig Anderson. Well, Michigan's by half an inch, but if they talk of his sock, he'd probably be the same size. Defence needs to be up strong. Cowling still playing at 100%. Just blokes like, you know, I'd say, Duggo and, and Brownie just... Pete McCallum. Know, well, they're bringing on Damien O'Brien. I'd say they'd be, be looking at Duggo or Brownie, pushing Daniel Anderson back in. Oh. Back into the second row position or, 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 or prop and pushing Damien O'Brien and Hooker. I think uh, not a wise move. I would have been looking more for, um, for uh, Robbie Magna, mate. They played a good game in the in the third grade. Damien O'Brien coming over the touchline. He's uh he copped ten minutes a little early today. He copped more than ten minutes, mate. He copped <coughs> about 10, 10 or fifteen punches to the head. Just did him no harm. College ball. Okay, airhead there, looking screwing for the ball. Didn't didn't get it. Here's Brown with the ball. This is the man we haven't seen enough of. Pumps because, up. Well, he didn't pump up enough, mate. I think his tyres going down. He's got a leak in his tube. Pat Prio now. Here's a man that he hasn't gone down once. Watch for a silly pass. Yeah, silly pass. I mean, this is... they probably best to let him go one or two places and then, because they'll know he's doing a silly pass. It's deep here. They're going to fill in. Daniel Anderson. No, don't throw it, Daniel. He knows what it's all about. I think they're offside. We're just watching this time. They're offside there. Offside. Doesn't matter. Pat Prio with the ball. He hangs on to it. That's Setting all they have to the do. That's all they have to do, mate. Back of the one pointer. Well, Daniel Anderson may do that. And he's got it. Well, wow. sensational. Daniel Anderson, well predicted by Peter Bow. Sensational kick. Just scraping over, but doesn't matter if it goes over. And I that's think he's won my man of the match award. Well, that, I think that just wraps it up. Well, sad to see Jeff Cowling came off. Great game, Jeff Cowling. Oh, yeah, Cowbo! Oh, yeah, Jeff! Good game, Jeff. Well... He won't be happy with that, but he's played a great game. He can't be disappointed altogether. So I think and he's going to be doing oh, a lot I think that's enough. That's, that's enough. 13-6. I think there's only got to be about five, five, minutes five. To go, five or four to go. They can't do it unless there's a total gooby by Michel Lepre, which I'll kick to his wing, of course. Let's see what happens. Well, one or two yeah, men offside. Yeah, then. straight to him. Daniel Anderson. Straight. Well, I don't know. I think Don't they picked know. out Mish pretty early on as the weak link. I think they did, mate. He is a weak link too, mate. Yeah, and if you have, I'll probably have a look in the showers a little later on, you'll know why. <laughs> I think they call him Winky Pop. He's brown now. <laughs> He's starting to get involved because of the last five minutes, so he looks good for the case for next year. 
Pat Perea, another solid game. Well, Damon O'Brien straight on, fresh reserve. Make 10 or 15 yards, sensational. Good. Right start, up mate. the guts where the forwards would normally he's, be. He's got his, he's got his confidence in that forward. Kill over now with the ball. Got to get the airhead. Good ball. Oh, oh flash. Patch. I don't know. They got the ball now. Four minutes to go. Well, here we go. He's had a good game. Number nine, I think. You know, if he was mine. Is that Dill? No, mate. That's Jason Cooding, Paul's son. Sensational, you know. <laughs> Played a solid game. All game. He's kept that up to him. He just didn't have the support. I think, you know, if they had 13 players of Cooding standard, that they'd be very slow, but very legs. solid. Flash his oh, legs. They're they're half filled. No shape whatsoever. Very pale. And here's Dean Fitzgerald. Probably not to make a break, but coming in here, just get the pressure off them. He's, he's hosted a good game. Oh, there's that word again, hey. <laughs> no, too good. And there's his missus down there, too. <laughs> it's quite, there is the <laughs> missus down there. As we look over to the first grade game later on, Phil Host is a fullback. Well, Duggo, will he throw a stupid pass? No, well done, Duggo. I think the Hoos not far off. Daniel Ennis and the man of the match. I'll tell you just quietly. He just gives it a prayer. Probably got two two points in today's game. I'm just looking at Mrs. Host down there, and I'm just thinking to myself. The way oh, not there! Thinking to myself, when the celebrations are on back at college, I think I know where I'm going to be tonight. I think I know where I'll definitely be tonight, mate. And I won't be back at the college. <laughs> You're not wrong Probably be back at uh, Rose Hill. That's where they live, Bowdy. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Well, try time. Nope. No good. He's trying everything. Well, another man is coming on. Is the brother of Damien O'Brien. Michael had a great sensational game in third grade. He replaced well. He's replacing well. Well, I would have gone the other way and gone for Patch off because... Oh, well, Patch is still fresh. <laughs> Patch is fresh. <laughs> fresh as he's going to be all game. Oh, Patch. Good old Patchy, eh? Hey? Well, great tackle by Peter McCallum. Dying stages, great grand final. I That's think this third. is this will be the match of the day. Johnny Walsh. But with the first grade to come, it'll be a great encounter between College, Castle Hill College and... Uh, Hornsby team. Hornsby team, another great game. He is still going with the ball, huge hit. Nobs he gets in there and he's done two tackles already, Michael O'Brien. He's going to go for his third hit. No, misses out, but his brother makes up for it in the back play. Beautiful. The, the O'Brien brothers, or the Nobses, if you want to call them, or the Nobakes. Okay, the half they couldn't penetrate. He was frustrated today. Patch Gillen, well, he's just seeing out there. This could be danger. Well, well done, Ferg Doyle. Save as a bank. Mate, he had to take the option to either take the man out and hope that he get, didn't get the ball away or he had to go for the ball. He's elected out of the ball sensational. Feel the mate. Well, hey? Feel the cameraman. Thanks very much, Ferg Doyle, for saving the game. Well done, Ferg Doyle. Sensational, mate. A great game. I think the points are going to go Dean Anderson, Pat Proud, and Ferg Doyle, mate, for my mind. Yeah. What's yours? Yeah, same. Yeah. Dan, Dan Anderson, though. Dan Anderson by a whisker. To Pat Prio, try scorer, leading Well, someone's scorer. down there, mate. We'll just have, have to get in on that. Clinching at the knee. I think it might be Duggo. It's not good for Duggo. Not Duggo. I can see Duggo. Well, it's, well it's Captain Coach, Anderson. Pressure in the Coach other. Anderson. Oh! oh! Well, here they go again with a running pressure. It's number nine. Did Jason you see Keating. Kel's head go back? I did, mate. I seen it scary. come forward to scary. It's scary rugby league at you know, the time. They're pressure his heart back. He's got room to move. That's not good. But he's not going to make it. He's under the post. No. Fifth and last. Fifth and last. Couldn't be much in it. Well, the Hooters got to go at any tick of the clock now. Dean Fitzgerald. <laughs> well done. Well, there you go. Well, that's good footballer. enough. That's he's enough. He's thinking that's twice he's sunk. Funk tonight? Today? Funk? Funk? Did he thunk you? <laughs> no, he didn't. Well, thank thunk you very much. He's straining my eye all night. Yeah. Well, there he is. There's uh, Macca. You know, Macca. Oh, I know, he's a legend. Brings players over from Cronulla when we're desperate, even though we're not that desperate sometimes. Yeah, when we've got sort of 20 players on the reserve bench, but he's good like that, isn't he? He is. He got a nice trip to... Uh, to uh, he look after his team. mates, and I think Gary George is one of his so mates. Gary George. Gary George. Well, Gary George has sent up a message from one of our major sponsors, Gary George, Jiffy Van, will be serving the greatest Donna Kebabs outside the gate later on, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. Tabuli will be there. Hummus. Penalty. his brother. Penalty. Well, argumentative to halfback. Well, he's thrown the ball down. Well, he marched Daniel Anderson 10 metres before, mate, and gave away. Yeah, game's over now, though. Why bother doing it? Why worry? Well, let's keep it a standard up, mate. Jeff Cowling. 
We'll get a word with Jeff Keeling. Make it quick, Jeff. We had a word with Jeff Keeling. Probably got uh, two or three points equal third. Jeff, we're going to have a word with you. I uh, had a great game. Jeff Keeling, we quickly get him up here before the Hooter goes. Not much time to go. They'll just play it out. Brandy now with the ball. Solid run. He's through now. Give it the airhead. If he can get it airhead, it's over. Airhead. Jeff Keeling, congratulations on a, on a win. Thanks, mate. Thanks. You played a solid game. And they, you seem to take it up to their forwards, and they just sort of cave in and couldn't come back with their, their pack, mate. Yeah, it's a hard game, mate. Really quick, really quick. Quick game, mate. Any reason for you coming off injured or just giving very, you a break, mate? Very tight. Look at this. Well, here's Targo, mate. Looking for support. Oh. He's right around. Shut the gate. He's in the corner. Well, Dugger, as we say, didn't have the pace. This fullback must be slower. He's terrible. Well, that's it, Jeff. Come before you go, mate. Before you go. Uh, who who, who do you give your points to, mate, in this game? Out there, probably we see it differently here. Out there, who's your man of the match? Uh, Daniel Anderson, mate. Yeah, great game. Well done. Well, thanks, Jeff. Congratulations on another win, mate. Fantastic. That's a ball game, mate. Shut the shut the gate. Uh, it's gone, mate. Oh, okay, the horse is bolted. They've reached for the siren already. As soon as this kick's taken, you're going to hear the buzzer go. It's all over here. Well, why don't they? Well, <laughs> Pat Gillen has decided to do something for to to to, to, to uh, tribute towards this game, and that'll be his kicking game, which we haven't seen much of at all. No. All through his career of rugby league. I've never seen it actually. <laughs> well, it's a bit of a joke they put on Patch. Make it out of gig out. Be out there for some reasons, not to play football. That's for sure, mate. I think I think Pat is looking for the professional kicking game. Like, I think Doug would have been very pleased. And there's Mrs. Ace down there too. But I think Doug would have been very, very pleased with that try. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mrs. Haste. Thanks for hosting a great. Well, Patch's kick goes straight to the crowd. There's it. All over the excitement. Jubilation on the college team. There's their first one of the day. Missing the third grade, but making up for it in second grade. Sensational. Great ever by all players. Let's just run through the players of today, which are great in the second grade. They're looking at Ferg Doyle. Sensation. Great, great game. Team Fitzgerald. A bit of an airhead. Played strongly. Paul Gillen. Well, what can we say? We can't say anything about Paul Gillen. But we'll move straight to number four, John Welsh. Had a fine game, solid. Save as a bank all same, mate. Mikhail. <laughs> Mikhail, Mikhail Dupre, well. Foreskin. Foreskin. We'll say only that about. We'll leave him alone. He's got a great, a great try. Thank, thank you, Michael. Great try. Yeah. Thanks to lead up by him. Daniel Anderson. Okay, we'll get to him. Leave it off. Kill over another strong game. Didn't make his breaks that he wanted where he's made it up all year, but, uh, mate, you couldn't do without That's him today. That's falls in a row for Kill, isn't it? Last Kill. year, captain third grade? Correct, mate. Correct. And man, the match also. Okay, we'll move We'll move now to Craig Anderson, captain coach. Well, he's led this team terrifically all through the year, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah. yeah led by back. example. Never been sent off. Got, no. got king hit last week. Me, normal man wouldn't come back from that, but he did. He's brought him back and they've won the grand final. Along with Doug, I don't think there was a Blake Hungary for the victory out there last year. Disappointed losing second grade. They've made amends this year and come back. Uh, well done, Doug. He finishes off with a great try. Could be his end of his career too. Uh, well, we don't know, Mick, so it doesn't matter. Peter Brown, fine performance. Not enough work, but mate, he was in there. He was paid in solid defence, so well done to uh, Big Brownie. Pete McCallum, well... He's got a lot of years left in him. I wouldn't be too keen to give him man of the match just yet, but he had a blinder today. He'll be back next year for sure. Oh, yeah, mate, he is a solid player. Very, very good. He came up through my ranks one of the other way. John Douglas, as he said, was good. Daniel Anderson, there's a man we're coming to, number nine, Daniel Anderson. Well, I'd say it's all over by the shouting. Daniel Anderson's going to have to move it. The, the fellas that went to school are Paramarist. Have a look at them. OK, Doyle. we'll run through them quickly. Doyle. Fitzgerald. Dupre. McCallum. Douglas. Douglas? <laughs> well, let's make him one anyhow. Oh, okay, Cowling Anderson and Prio. Ah, oh, sensational. Well, can he speak up the other? mention a lot of the blokes who wanted to go there, like Douglas. <laughs> okay, thanks. Let's film this because Daniel will get the Daniel will get the man of the match, without doubt. Did we thank Phil Hoses, Mrs? I don't think we did think Philos's missed. What about, I think She's Robin, Robin, Robin Tallon didn't get a mention today. Surprisingly enough, we'll probably give her a flogging in the first uh, first grade match today. <laughs> well, I think she'll be giving more more first grades a flogging than we'll give her, two, mate. Two minutes to go, mate. She went straight down to the dressing room to ready herself, I'd say. She had a, yeah, she had the uh, the paling off the local fence down there, and she's, she's right. Hey, okay, Craig Coast. Baldy! 
Well done, SA. There's a proud man. Let's see him up there. He's fantastic. He's jubilated, eh? Right? Fantastic. He's happy, man. On your nose. <laughs> A uh, bit of a jay there. Hosty, there's that word again. There's that hosty again. Donk! 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 What about Donk? He wants to say Donk, but he can't get it out. Well, well spoken. He didn't get Donk in there, but who cares? They're a winner. He's a winner. On you, so. Well, who is it? Number 12. Hurtus. 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 Okay, mate. Thanks, man. Thanks, Bowdy. Right. Thanks, Bowdy. Right. That's um, hurt us. He didn't hurt us much today. Pass around that cup. Great. He's a man. Man, we've been waiting for me in the match. That's moving out. Well, I don't know why. Knobs. They'll all have a go at this, won't they? Bit of a giggle on it, Jake. We just like to get on his uh, nice leather jacket. Well done, there it is. That's all I remember we wait for. Gentlemen, I've got uh, the man that matched today's game, Daniel Anderson, and another player of the game, Patch Gillen. Well, Patch wasn't really a player, he was, he was just a rider out there. Congratulations, Patch, on a fine victory, and probably you won the award today from the, the commentary team as the most laziest man in rugby league. How do you feel about that? Well, um, I just like to say that I thoroughly deserve that award, but see, what happened was a few of Daniel Anderson's mates were inside me, and they kept starving me for the ball, because you see that opportunity when I did get the Look ball. Look at the camera, please, Patch. Oh, sorry. That scintillating bust. I mean, you know, nobody in the team could keep up for me, so I had to go down with the ball. And the inside men just wouldn't give me the ball because they knew I'd take the award off Daniel. But, I mean, Daniel's a good mate of mine, so... Well, the stats show that uh, you probably made no tackles. You made a run of only two yards. Uh, that was your most. And you only took the ball up three times. Uh, you proud about that? Well, I just have to say that Rugby League can only be the winner today. That's correct, mate. And your kicking game wasn't up to scratch? Oh, uh, well, you know, pretty pretty fierce wins out there, uh, Donk, you know, and uh, if the win wasn't there, I reckon I would have got it over for the two. Right, uh, Daniel, a very tough game out there, mate. You think that the, you, you fought? Well, we can't speak to this. We'll just stand straight. This is Wank Television coming from you from Wankerville. <laughs>